Welcome to Taiji Fencing 101. I'm Swordsman Shah, and this is my Kung Fu brother, Swordsman Soto, and we're here to introduce you to Taiji Fencing. So what we're going to work on today in this first video is introducing you to what is Taiji Fencing. And Taiji Fencing, I would define as the practice of learning to survive a sword fight. It's not about cutting the opponent. It's not about getting the better stab in. It's about getting out of the conflict and surviving. And so in Taiji Fencing, our reliance is going to be on accurate parrying and constant control of pressure, energy, and distance between our opponent and ourselves and our weapons. And so in Taiji fencing, it oftentimes can look like pushing swords or toy gen or these practices where the swords are in the air pushing together. For example, we have the swords here and we're just moving them around. This could be considered a way of playing Taiji fencing. But in our game, we're going to have a clear understanding of how to score a cut and how to train to survive an actual sword fight using this method. So in Taiji fencing, we want to look for what's called clean cuts. And I'm going to get into this more in the next video. But a clean cut is whenever I can cut my partner and then not tag me back and I can get out of the situation. And so we're going to be looking for cuts where we can parry the opponent's weapon while cutting. This allows us to defend while getting the attack. If Swordsman Soto brings the sword out down to my front leg, so as I, he parries my cut at him, he's able to cut my leg as he comes through, blocking my cut, but simultaneously touching me. We're looking for moments like these. Another example, if he were to chop down at me, I could parry the sword here and cut to the hand or maybe get a cut on his body if I don't block the view. I can move out of the way and get a cut. These are examples of Taiji fencing in brief moments in the interpretation of a sword fight based on hacking and slashing. Now, when we sword fight naturally, if we were going to have a sparring match here, let's sword fight for a moment, let's fence. We start with this idea of clashing and controlling the opponent's weapon. Not everyone will do that. But Taiji fence is going to be focusing on the energy once the swords make contact, whether it's for a brief moment of a parry, if he chops down at me here. Boom, one, two, I get a cut. Or if it's in a long exchange where we come up with swords and he's bound to me and we're pushing and he gets a cut on me into my arm or my body in that exchange. No matter how long or short the engagement is, this is what we're focusing on training in Taiji fencing. If he's going to bring a sword up above his head for a big downward cut, the moment he does this nice and slow for me here, the moment I make this mo touch, and I begin to parry and step off the line. This is the beginning of what we're practicing in Taiji fencing. So if he were to do this cut again, give me a little bit more hair, boom, and I step off to here, he's going to continue moving. And as he continues moving, I'm going to keep moving. And he's going to cut again, and I'm going to cut again. And this type of movement begins to get us to follow each other's energy closely and learn how to parry constantly. It's not a moment in this where we're saying, oh, I got lucky because I swung my sword and when you weren't paying attention or when your sword was drawn back. We're both constantly engaged in fighting for that alignment to get the perfect cut. And we're going to go over how to make this uh, engageable with your partners and your friends. If you notice when we're here, we're always pushing the sword away from the, each other's cuts. We're not just pushing the swords in circles. So when we engage, I'm trying to cut him, and he's trying to find an alignment or a position where he can cut back at me. And so we're taking our time right now nice and easy and nice and slow so we can see every moment along the path of the weapons. So we're going to work on trying to get that clean cut on the opponent, and we're going to have a constant play back and forth nice and slow with control, and as we practice together, we'll start to up the speed with our partners as we develop comfort. Now, we are using wooden swords, and I like to say we're using wooden swords instead of steel swords, and so that means instead of getting cut, you might get a little bumped, but the wood sword has a nice smooth surface, which is safer for you than a lot of padded weapons that will stick together, and then when enough friction happens, they slip off and someone gets smashed with more force. So uh, Swordsman Soto and I are going to do a little bit of slow and steady Taiji fencing, and we'll put a few clips together here for you to get an example to see what it looks like. And I want you to look for these moments where we're getting the cut while protecting ourselves, and we're starting to find familiar shapes and comfortable positions where we're safe and able to put the opponent under our threat. So you're going to put your sword in your left hand and present it with the right hand over. And then you can take your sword. Generally, we do right-handed, but left-handed players are welcome to join in. And as we begin to pushing our swords around, an example of Taiji fencing, we're going to be working on trying to get a cut and try to move our body, but constantly using different techniques.
Great. Come on out. Uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of, of a basic flow that you can start with with your partner and we'll get into more details on how to tie G-Fence down the road. Um, you'll be able to see how this actually trains your techniques and how that you can start to put your movements from your form into your sword fighting. Now as you develop your skill in Taiji fencing, we want to remember we're keeping it soft and slow and comfortable with our partner. We're not swinging our swords. We're not relying on momentum or overpowering our partners. We're trying to find the best technique. So we want to keep in mind, start comfortable, start easy, and you'll find a rhythm with your partner. And this is the basic movements.